plots of capacity and other battery performance characteristics as a function of cycle number are common in battery research papers, such as this one which I previously published. However, developing these plots manually is a time-consuming and error-prone task. Consequently, I developed a program to automate this process and generate higher quality outputs. This video will first show a demonstration of this program, followed by a tutorial on its usage. Beginning with the demonstration, the program is operated via an intuitive graphical user interface. Users begin by clicking button 1 to browse to the files to be analyzed. Several specifications are then provided, which will be explained in the tutorial. After clicking button 6, the program automates origin to generate a graph as per your specifications. Next, click button 7 in order to open the folder containing the generated outputs. The first of these is a Word file, which contains the image and a caption. Additionally, a PowerPoint file containing the image and caption is generated. Finally, an image file of the graph itself is generated. This concludes the demonstration, so the tutorial will now begin. Begin by entering the full name of each battery to be analyzed. These will be used to name the worksheets in the generated origin project. Next, specify the active material mass for each battery. This will be used to calculate the specific capacities. Next, optionally specify the electrode area for each battery. This will be used to calculate the aerial capacities. Next, use the drop-down to select the cycler manufacturer for each battery. Next, use the drop-downs to select the quantities you wish to plot on the left and right axes. Next, specify the legend entry for each quantity to be plotted. The legend entry cells contain a simple Excel formula, so they will auto-populate. However, you may overwrite these if you prefer. Next, specify the abbreviated project name. This will be used to generate names for the output files. Next, specify the full project name. This will be used to generate the caption for the figure. Next, specify the origin template that you wish to use. This affects various properties of the generated graph, such as whether the data symbols are joined by a line. A detailed demonstration of how to modify this template is given in the link in the description. The Word and PowerPoint templates may also be changed from their default settings using buttons 4 and 5. These templates may also be modified as per your preferences, and again a detailed demonstration of how to do so is given in the video link in the description. Next, optionally specify the title you wish to appear for the cycle number axis. Next, specify the left and right y-axis titles. These cells contain an Excel formula that uses a lookup table to auto-populate them based on the quantity that is plotted. However, you may overwrite this if you prefer. Next, use the drop-down to specify either true or false for the plot on separate layers quantity. If this is set to true, the right and left y-axis scales will be set such that the quantity plotted on the right axis will be shown above that on the left axis. Next, specify the top layer height parameter. This will determine what percentage of the graph is occupied by the quantity plotted on the right axis. Next, specify the discharging and charging internal resistances. These will be used to calculate the internal resistance corrected voltages. Next, use the drop-down to select either median or mean as your preferred average voltage type. To use these voltage-related parameters, navigate to the Inputs tab and select Voltage and Internal Resistance Corrected Voltage from the drop-downs. The resultant figure will then contain these quantities. It should be noted that a different template was specified for this analysis. 
This is because the data point symbol shapes and colors for each data set are determined by the template. Several templates that cover the most common types of performance versus cycle number plots are provided with this program. A detailed guide to selecting the most appropriate one is given in the manual. Additionally, this program may be used to analyze multiple battery files simultaneously. To do so, select multiple battery files when clicking button 1 and enter the details for each of these. The program will then generate an overlaid plot of your specified quantities for each battery as a function of cycle number. This concludes the tutorial. However, it should be noted that the manual contains written forms of these instructions and additional information. Finally, I am offering this program for sale from my website, cyresa.com. If you would like to purchase this program, please click on the link to the product page, which is given in the description. Thank you for watching, and I hope to help you accelerate your scientific research.